Hello guys! If you want to start detailing steel in advanced steel, this tutorial is for you. In few videos I will show you how to make a complete project from start to finish. I will show you entire procedure from setting up a new project to making a final set of drawings and also how to make revisions to your project. We will be making all of this based on maintenance steel platform for Chicago Transit Authority. In this video I will show you how to shorten beams. This is not a standard advanced steel project, but because of that I have decided to share it with you. Once you get the idea how to detail this platform, making any other project will appear super easy. Stick around and check out other videos in this playlist. Consider subscribing, don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified instantly whenever I upload a new video. The project file is available on my website for free, link in the description below. If you need to buy advanced steel software, check out my link below to get a nice discount. Unzip and open the project file. The link to the free file is in the description below the video. Go to the top view and zoom in on the beam you want to shorten. Change the view type to 2D wireframe. Choose the Split Beams tool from the Home tab, Objects. Select the beam you want to shorten. Find a point at which you want to shorten your beam and click there. Select an unwanted piece of the beam and click Delete. Do the same for the other end of the beam you need to shorten. As you can see in the 3D view, the beam is shortened correctly. Now, let's take a look at a slightly different case. What if you need to shorten a beam on the intersection with another beam, but you need to shorten your beam with a separation of half inch from the other beam? Nothing easier. Draw half inch away, a temporary line, from the point where two beams intersect. Then again go to a split beam tool. Select a beam. Find a point where the beam interests with a temporary line. Click there. Now, your beam is spliced into two separate pieces. Delete unwanted piece and your temporary line. Do the same thing on the other end of the beam. As you can see in the 3D view your beam is shortened on both ends and separated with a gap of half inch. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below, if you like this method. Maybe you have another preferred method of shortening structural members. In the next tutorial, we will be adding a custom clip angle connection. Click the subscribe button to not miss it.